Ah, hello. My name is Mike Myers. I'm the author of McGraw-Hill's CompTIA Network Plus Certification Exam Guide, as well as the popular textbook, McGraw-Hill's CompTIA Network Plus Guide to Managing and Troubleshooting Networks. Woo, that's a long title. Anyway, I wanted to thank you so much for considering my books, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about the new Network Plus and some of the things I'm doing in my books to take advantage of this very new and exciting certification. First of all, the new Network Plus is very different from those who might have known the older Network Plus. CompTIA has taken what I'd call a high road and have made it very what I'll call operating system agnostic. In other words, they're not going to ask you how do you right click in Windows or uh, what control series do you click in a Macintosh to try to get something to get done. Everything is very, very overview in terms of operating system. Oh sure, they'll ask you questions like how do you run ping, because ping works pretty much the same way in every operating system, as well as other certain functions that span operating systems, but it's really exciting to me to see CompTIA make a certification that doesn't really lean towards any one particular operating system. Now it doesn't stop there. The other thing about Network Plus is it's become, I guess the word would be deeper. It used to be back in the old days, we just had switches and routers and hubs. Well, that's not true anymore today. Even a simple home router is a multi-layer device that can do all kinds of work. And the new Network Plus addresses this very, very specifically, and so do we within our, our study materials. So it's, it's very important to understand the level of depth that it's going to go into. While CompTIA exams have always been classic for being wide but not deep, and Network Plus is still pretty wide, but it's a little bit deeper than it used to be. So you better be ready to delve in deep into the technology. Now, with all these new things taking place with the Network Plus, I was really motivated to come up with some really cool ways to make some great books. So one of the first things I did is, well, I shut up and I listened to you. I always get input from readers about, Michael, add this, or if you only said that, or can you turn that blue? And speaking of turning blue, the textbook is now in full color. I like color. I'm a kinesthetic person. I like to touch things and hold it and, and color really just helps it all come out. So for those uh, who be going through the textbook find, you're going to see that there's all kinds of high color graphics out there that are absolutely fabulous. The other thing I did is somebody told me, Mike, be a little bit more casual. So <laughs> I haven't owned a tie in about 15 years, so that was no problem. What you're going to see is what's now known as the Mike Myers casual style drilled deep into the book. I've been known to split infinitively, and I've been known to use con concatenations and contractions. And you know what? Even though my editor didn't like it, we've left it all in there because it's easy to read, and I think you're going to really enjoy that. But we didn't forget about important things, especially in terms of learning theory. You're going to see plenty of flow. Everything moves. M my dream, my goal when you grab one of my books is that you open it up and you read it like it's a novel, and you just don't even want to put it down. Okay, well, a technical writer can dream, can't he? Anyway, again, thank you so much for considering my books. And if you've got any questions at all, send me to my email, michaelm at totalsim.com. Thanks again.